Good morning and thank you very much Mirko for inviting me to this event. My name is Jose Luis Cordova. I am an director of Andalusia Lab. We try to help small companies in the south of Spain to be successful in the digital economy. Uh, this is our, our goal. Um, let's focus on big data and let's focus on Florence. Could you imagine if we collect all the photos that were taken by tourists during a year? For example, starting in January until the end of November and we plot all these pictures in a map. If we do so, we will be able to observe a pattern, a pattern in the behavior of the tourists. Uh, please launch the video. We are going to watch an example. These are the places where the photos were taken. Look at the date. Could you imagine what we would be able to do with all this information from the public or from the private sectors? This is really big data. It's just to try to use this information to make better decisions. Big data is really data analysis taking into account four things. First, the amount, diversity and speed of information have all increased incredibly because of the internet, the introduction of sensors, new data bases, etc. The second change is that the data storage and processing capacity has rapidly increased during this time. The third is that there are more powerful ways to visualize all this information, all this data. For example, with tools like GeoCommons, Many Eyes, or Car2DB, uh, a Spanish startup. And the availability of data in real time. This is really very important. So, big data is just data analysis incorporating these changes. Um, we are going to focus on Andalusia. Um, we did an experiment, we collected information from almost 800 hotels from medium to high category and we collected the data in the eight big cities and in the main coasts of Andalusia. In the map are plotted all the hotels, hotels from three to five stars so we identify the hotel supply location. We collected uh, the information from OTAs and information related to certain attributes. We collected information from TripAdvisor, Booking, Expedia, Holiday Check, Sewer, Hotelopia, Venere, Hotel Room, and information about uh, these attributes food, room, location, service, facilities, quality and price, cleanliness. Try to build an image, a radiography of the destination, of Andalusia destination. These are where the comments are coming from. Most of them are coming from Booking, TripAdvisor. Analyzed more than 400,000 comments. And this is a map of Andalusia map reputation, for example. Uh, this is Córdoba, an important city in Andalusia, where you can find out in the average score for room, cleanliness, facilities, price, service, location and food. And we did this, as I mentioned before, with the main cities and coasts all throughout Andalusia. It's a really only an experiment because the data uh, is limited to one month, but it's an interesting image of the destination. Considering all mentioned before, 
we could obtain some conclusions. For example, the Andalusia definition is very good in cleanliness, and we could study our relationship with other attributes like location, uh, room, uh, services, uh, etc. Another conclusion is that there are different um, clusters of uh, OJS. For example, Super Autolopia, um, they have low comments and a low uh, score. Um, just one minute. Uh, we have low comments uh, and a low score. TripAdvisor and Booking have a lot of comments and a low score. And in the medium cluster, we observe high score and medium number of comments. Um, all this information is uh, able to be downloaded. All the cities from Andalusia can download their particular data in order to figure out uh, their own position. All the information is available in this web, bigdata.andalab.org. And this is just an experiment about Florence. Here are the hotels located in Florence with their prices distribution. It's just an experiment. We collected this information during one week. So it's not relevant, but just to show you how this information could be used uh, and could be helpful to run a destination. So that's all I wanted to share with you. Gracias. Thank you.